SEOs love using tools that help make their job easier, and when it comes to browser extensions, it's no different. That's why today we compiled the list of some of the best browser extensions for SEOs. These extensions will be divided into the following categories. On-page, keyword research, outreach, technical SEO and competitor analysis. We'll start with the on-page category. The first tool is SEO Testing's Chrome extension. This tool will help you a lot with your day-to-day -day tasks and on-page SEO. When you activate the extension, it will show on-page metadata like title, description, canonical URL, meta robots, word count, and a label status next to each item. When you scroll down, it shows the page structure and by clicking on one of the headings, your browser will scroll that heading into sight. I love this for when I'm doing research. At the bottom, it also shows you the number of links and images a page has, including images without alt text. But things don't stop here. If you are a SEO testing customer, this is where the extension will shine, as it can show you the queries the page has ranked for in the last 90 days, as well as graphs with clicks, impressions, average position, and click-through rate. SEO testing's extension also shows the SEO tests you are running on the site and the shortcut for the reports inside SEO testing. If you aren't a customer, you can start a 14-day trial today using the link in the description. Detailed SEO is another extension that helps check on-page elements like title, description, canonical URL, and information labels. One of my favorite features of Detailed is the shortcuts for robots.txt and the sitemap. Even though I know the URL I should type to get there, I just prefer to use these shortcuts. Detailed can also show you the page structure with all the headings and the number of links. Here you can see a list divided into internal and external links with their respective anchor text. And you can download the spreadsheet with all those links. This extension also allows the download of a spreadsheet with the URLs of the page's images. And finally, it also shows you the schema markup of the page. SEO Minion is another incredibly popular extension that can do a lot, including on-page analysis showing you all the relevant metadata like the previous two extensions, but in my opinion schema is easier to read on SEO Minion than detailed. You can also use SEO Minion to check links on a page. The extension can highlight them, which is great for a quick eye test to locate internal, external, follow or no follow links. If you prefer, you can download the list of the links. SEO Minion can also find broken links and their respective HTTP status code. They can also check if the href lang tags are set up properly. Another cool thing is their SERP preview function, allowing you to see how a page will appear on Google. And finally, SEO Minion also has a SERP checker that shows Google results as you are searching from a different location. Link Grabber is a simple extension that does one thing and does it well. It will grab all the links on a page and show them in a list. This extension can hide duplicate links, group them by domain or even hide a specific host name. You can use it as an alternative to Screaming Frog if you just want to do a quick check on a page's links. Then you can copy these links into a spreadsheet to proceed with the analysis. Next comes Mozbar, another popular extension with free capabilities. You can use it to analyze on-page elements like URL, page title, meta description and meta keywords, if those are still important to you, among other elements. Mozbar also checks meta robots, canonical tags, page load time and Google cache URL for the page. One differentiator factor of Mozbar versus other extensions for on-page is the link metrics. While browsing on a page, Mozbar can show you the page and domain authority as well as the number of external links the current page has. To finish off, it can also show you schema markup and the HTTP status code of the page. Now we will talk about extensions for keyword research and start with Keywords Everywhere, one of my favorite free tools. This extension comes in handy in two ways. The first one is on Google SERP, as the extension shows you a lot of keyword ideas based on your query. This can easily give you some long tail and related keywords that you can use to generate even more keyword ideas. And saving all these keywords is super easy with the copy and download buttons. The second part is the reports. 
I like to analyze the keywords a competitor page is ranking for. You can get this data by hovering the mouse on the traffic information near the search result or via the organic ranking keywords report. This extension should give you a solid list of keywords to look at in no time. To get access to search volume metrics as I do, you have to purchase credits which are affordable. If you want an extension that shows search volume and cost per click for free, check Keyword Surfer. This tool will show data for more than 70 countries when you are searching on Google. It also has a widget to find similar keywords. Near each keyword idea, Surfer shows the similarity percentage to the seed keyword and respective search volume. To save these keyword ideas, select the ones you want and when you are done, click on the collection icon in the top right corner to download them as a CSV file. Keyword Surfer can also tell you the estimated monthly traffic, number of words and keyword mentions for each search result. Glimpse is an extension that enriches your Google Trends experience. Some of Glimpse features include interest trajectory to remove seasonality from the interest over time graph, adding widgets with keywords from people also search for, related trending queries and channels where the keyword is most mentioned, and sometimes a topic map. The extension also has an email alert system to track a keyword or topic. All this extra data shown by Glimpse is valuable for spotting new trends before they become mainstream. This means Glimpse can help you establish as an authority for an up and coming topic while SEO competition is still low. Their free plan allows 10 searches per month and all you need is to create an account to start using this tool. SEO Quake is a popular SEO extension capable of a wide range of tasks that you can use for free or with a paid SEMrush account. The later option provides you advanced backlink reports and traffic data using the extension's full potential. But the free plan gives you plenty of things like page info with title, meta description and the number of links divided into internal, external and nofollow as well as canonical tag, number of images without alt text, robots.txt and XML sitemap detection. SEO Quake can also show the most mentioned keywords with 1 to 4 words, with the respective number of repetitions and their density. SEO Quake also shows an info box below each search result containing the number of page indexed for the domain and the number of domain backlinks. And there's also an export button on the left side of the SERP. Moving on to the outreach category, we will talk about BuzzMarker from BuzzStream, an extension to help with prospecting and outreach campaigns. This extension has a lot of advanced features that you can use while browsing, including finding new contact information from BuzzStream database like email or phone number, adding a name for future research, assigning a relationship status, tagging the project, creating notes and sending an email to prospects directly from the extension. When you are on the SERP, BuzzMarker can quickly analyze the results and show a prospect list that you can add to the project or review them individually. Hunter browser extension makes it easy to find email addresses while browsing. Their free plan includes 25 searches per month which are enough for occasional use. When Hunter finds an email address from the site you are visiting, it will light up and turn orange or stay grey when it doesn't have any information. This means the extension works in the background and gives you cues while you perform other tasks. Clicking on the extension icon shows a pop-up window with the known email addresses and URL sources where they were found. Moving on to the technical SEO extensions, the first one is Schema Builder. This extension not only can help you write schema, but it can also help you validate the schema that's already on the page, so you can correct any errors with little effort. It also makes it easy to use and test markup with a click of a button. For example, Schema Builder is useful when adding structured data to an e-commerce store. Markup requirements and recommendations will also be shown when you test and deploy using the extension. View Rendered Source is an extension to show how the browser rendered a page versus its original source code. 
SEOs can use this to know how the DOM looks like and what search engines see. This makes it possible to catch errors before Google. Otherwise, Google can index the version that's not rendered correctly. In this case, I'm referring to errors caused by JavaScript in the rendering stage, like missing titles and meta descriptions even when you set them up in the CMS. ViewRender source divides the code into three sections. Raw, the HTML source code you will see on the browser's view source. Rendered, the page as it was rendered in the current browser including JavaScript modifications and difference, the differences made by JavaScript between the raw and rendered source. Link redirect trace extension can help you diagnose and analyze redirect errors. What's different about this SEO extension versus its alternatives is that it shows errors, how to fix them and what impact they might have on your site. The extension can detect how many redirect hops there were for the current page you are visiting and the HTTP code for each redirect. It will also inform you if crawling is blocked by robots.txt, detect canonicals, meta robots tags used and the raw HTTP header data. All this is entirely free and without creating an account. Lighthouse is a Google tool to measure the performance, accessibility, best practice, SEO and correctness of progressive web apps. Visit a page you are interested in analyzing and press the extension icon to get a report. They will rate each category from 0 to 100 alongside the past audits and opportunities for improvement. Performance is a popular section amongst SEOs since this focus on core web vital metrics. The SEO score is also another popular metric that SEO professionals will use as it will help them catch errors on their site. Web Vitals is an open source extension created by the Google Chrome team to measure a site's performance on the current browser. This tool looks at metrics that are part of the Web Vitals like largest contentful paint, cumulative layout shift, first input delay and interaction to next paint. The Web Vitals extension gives instant feedback about the site's health and this data tends to be in line with other Google reports about Web Vitals like Google Search Console and PageSpeed Insights. Site Improve Accessibility Checker is an extension you can use to find insights about your website's accessibility. The tool shows a list of all the accessibility issues and how often they happen on the page. It will even point out the element responsible for the warning. This tool comes in handy when advising a client on the necessity of accessibility compliance and you want to show examples as to how they can improve. Overall, it's a straightforward extension that can massively improve the web experience for users with disabilities. Now comes the competitor analysis category. You can use the similar web extension to find key website metrics like monthly visitors, bounce rate, average visitor duration, global ranking, top visiting countries and traffic sources mix. The extension is 100% free and the only requirement is joining their contributor network. Another great extension you can pair with similar web is similar sites. Yes, they are from the same company. As the name says, similar sites can show related websites to the one you are currently looking at. The primary use case for similar sites is finding who are the main competitors. This is helpful when you want to know more about a niche without relying on intuition. To use it, you only need to click on the extension icon when visiting a site and it will show the panel with data. Inside the panel, you can also see the competitor's estimated traffic and their ranking in the category. SEO Search Simulator by Nightwatch simulates Google searches from different locations in real time. This way, you don't need to use a VPN to see how a page ranks in a different country or to remove personalized results. This extension is an excellent alternative to logging in into SEMrush or another rank tracker to quickly check rankings. It's also helpful to check what competitors rank for certain queries. The search simulator allows saving searches which is handy when you use the same query repeatedly. Nofollow is another extension that's pretty simple and useful. Its primary use is highlighting nofollow links on a page. 
but it can also detect nofollow images, do follow links, no index tags and external links, just to name a few. I use the extension mostly when doing competitor research because it makes it easy to detect nofollow and affiliate links on a page. This can also be useful if you are investigating if a site is worth reaching out for link building purposes. I would like to finish the video with two honorable mentions. One of them goes to Grammarly, a tool most of us use every day to avoid embarrassing mistakes whether replying to emails or for creating content. The second mention goes to User Agent Switcher, another extension created by Google to help our fellow technical SEOs. This tool simulates you are using a different browser so you can see how the page looks like on a different device. There you have it, these are some of the best extensions for SEOs. You can find the links for all the extensions in the description as well as a link for a 14 day free trial of SEO testing, a tool to help you grow search traffic through testing and experimentation. Thanks for watching.